Welcome back guys to another episode of Grand Theft Auto 5 for next gen. We're here doing a mission for Michael. Looks like we're going to the clothes store. Get some new threads on. Change it to a tuxedo and Ponzumbais to attend meltdown for me. I don't even know how you say that. If you can't find your oh, we are going to the premiere. Let's go. We're going to the mayor of our, our movie. Tuxedo. Alright, we're good. Meet Jimmy. Oh. Let's go. Looking all James Bondy up in here. Make sure you're in the back, out. huh? That's he's got a he's got shorts on. He's got shorts on. Really? The producer? Are you joking? Come on! Vinewood Boulevard. The Oriental Theater. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! We can't go inside. Get my drink on. Hey, hey, where are you going with that? Woo! My dad's a movie producer. Jimmy, get back down here. We can't go in first person right now. Jimmy, I'm gonna ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work, and I'm gonna get a sports car. I think he's already drunk. Before appearing on reality rehab show, and then. I'm gonna sell my story and become really judgmental. And I'm gonna use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer too. <laughs> I'm gonna make even shittier movies than my dad does. Cause I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo! Yeah! You see the street. How long is this? Jizzle we didn't even Google stop at the stop sign. Screw the stop sign. You hear that, Finewood? Hey, I hear it, and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. Get back down here. Where is this movie theater? And not to, like, Almost running somebody over. We're actually, like, properly invited. B to the I to the P. Jimmy. Read my neck rolls. Entitled E N T. Uh, Titled. <laughs> oh, into oh, into titled into titled. Let's take a drink. He just spelled E N T titled. Jimmy, shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look, I need to say about Molly, man. I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey, you made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not going to forget. Look, Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. Check it out. It's a premiere. Oh, here we go. I'm trying to look inside. And look, it didn't work. Ah, uh, get to the red. Oh, we're all going on the red card, man. Let's go. You know, I'm really proud of you, even though you did make a pretty shitty movie. Well, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? Uh, they're at home. You know, they'll uh, express their pride by showing up really late. Uh, of course they will. And uh, have you ever? All right. Hey, what's up? Shoot sex are we walking right in front of pictures here? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, the thought is, uh, Photo bomb. Thanks, Antonio. Give me nice and tight. Hey, it's Laszlo on the red carpet of Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're gonna see some side boot tonight. Come on. <laughs> we did it, Solomon. We fucking did it. Fucking a. <laughs> Fuck you, fate. I may be a lecherous old has been, but I'm a has been with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I see you in there, kid. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards! Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Um, I'm Laszlo from uh, Fame or Shame. Um, but I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh... Oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect <laughs> for you. Oh, that's fantastic. For it's Jet Lee back there. Really modern stuff. <laughs> Pervert. Come on. No, 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 no. Let's go over She's here. lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question, get in here tight. Um, 
love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... Okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. Stick and I just have a hug. Okay. That really affected me. All right, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> what the hell? Come on, let's get in there. This guy's uh, weird. Laszlo. Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick. <laughs> is that his name? <laughs> Where the hell is she? Looks like she stood you up. Hey, hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Oh, is he hey, not going to let it huh? let it premiere? A proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see, I was here. Unlike your wife, seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck. You're oh, he did something to her. Let's go, Jim. Come on. What's happening? Oh, hell yeah. We're taking the Lambo. Come on. The girls might be in trouble at the house. You have two minutes to sacrifice yourself for your family. Okay, let's see it. Let's do it, man. What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit can the movie. Because I didn't shit Dang it. can the movie. And then that car was in the middle of the road. And he just told me he's going to hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's going to kill mom and Tracy? He ain't going to do anything if I got to say anything. I got guns. You Let's go. You killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right. Okay. They'll be fine. Oh. You're tough. This is just what happened? Oh. Guy, right? He's he locked up. Let's go. Or anything? No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. Oh, whoa, we're in our freaking sure gate go. Talk. All right, Jimmy, you Is that Merryweather? I'll go get the girls. Oh, hell yeah, let's go. We got the pump shotgun out. That Mother is truck is going down. Brick. Not the best idea to have a... I hope that was a slug shotgun, not a not a freaking okay. pellet gun or a pellet safe. shotgun or whatever. Be safe, baby. Don't you worry about me. Clear the house, all occupants. Nope. Not dead. Let's go. It was Merryweather. I thought that was Merryweather's. What? Good thing I didn't walk down the stairs. Can lob of nades in here. Oh, you're lucky. No! Dang it, man. I was going around corners shooting before they even. He's dead this time. Let's go. Let's go this way. Not the end, bro. Missed. Reload. Oh, we're reloaded? No, we're not. Let's go. Dude, we just reloaded. There we go, finally. He dead? Let's go. He's not dead yet. I don't want to use a grenade because I think our car it might we might blow up our getaway car. Not want to do that. Right, there's guys around here. There he is. Don't know why he didn't shoot. I'm glad he didn't, but stupid on his part. These guys are just like, screw this, we're not doing any of that. They're just still <coughs> where's our Oh man, do we not have a Lambo anymore? Amanda, I think they're gone. The hell happened nope before we go up there just in case. 
I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if there's people up here. We're gonna be prepared though. It's gonna be somebody up here. Oh, I knew something. It's not. What was that? Someone there? Is it Franklin? Fuck. Is it Franklin or Day or Davy? Like that, don't you, huh? Oh no, it's our son. Get the fuck off me! I thought I was on that guy. Oh wow. Sit on his face? It's called teabagging. <laughs> call of duty right, listen, I'm gonna make a call it's all gonna be okay stay put all right we should pass the meltdown so I wonder if our movie's gonna get shown now hmm hope it does where are we going now Locked up. Oh, there we go. They came to my house, Lester. My house. So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. Well, I hate to say it, but Meriwether isn't short on excuses to come and kill you. Nor is Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, right. Uh, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. That's smart. Uh, meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. All right, let's go to the uh, strip club here. All right, guys, here we are. Might have ran over a couple people on the way here. Hence the star. Don't know if this bouncer guy was in. Maybe we can sneak around him. Mr. DeSanto, good to see you. Okay, he knows my name. Of course he's gonna let us in. I guess Trevor owns place, so and that's why. Is he here? He's still there. Oh my gosh, dude. How you doing? Okay. Let's see here. There it is. There's the room. Infamous room where he stuffed that guy into a uh, hey. fur grater. Sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you, all right, excuse all right, all me. Right, enough, huh? enough. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, uh, this is it. Well, we have two options. They're both a little, uh, out there. But then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage, and then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. And we'll need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front. Make them think we're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're gonna be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. They're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use. The other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. It's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again... I'll send you the details. 
Now, if you're interested in the more um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh? you've got to get some police stingers. Only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Oh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> that's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? Well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? Well, of course we're going to go obvious. <laughs> Why not use a giant drill? Hmm. Um, all right. Uh, we're going through the wall, so we'll just need a skeleton crew. <laughs> okay. Um, two gunmen and two drivers. The first this guy driver will pilot one of the choppers getting you out of there. Half the gold will be in that chopper. So these better be some safe effing hands. And the second driver's in charge of the train. I don't think we need to hire someone very expensive for this. All right, so this hey, one. I used them at the jewelry store. I used them at the bureau. I'll use them here. And then the second driver, I'll use her. I'm not going to pass her up. Gunman one is with Franklin burrowing in and pulling out the gold. Gunman two hits the bank lobby with you and makes it look like you're a couple of idiots trying your luck. Alright, so we want a good gunman on the first. Chef looks good. Gunman two. Let's see here. His accuracy is better, weapon choice is better. But we're just gonna go with seven percent cut. Be okay. He's got a few scores left in him. We'll only get one shot at this thing. Is this the shot we want to take? Hell yeah. Right. All right. We get the tunnel bore machine and we're good to go. Fucking glory seeker. Oh, you got any better ideas? Obviously not. Otherwise, you already killed me and done the gig yourself. I mean, what kind of vain asshole decides that the best way to rob the largest holding bank on the West Coast is for him and him personally to come at the front door? The kind of vain asshole who's stuck working with you, you douche. Okay, all right, all right, ladies. <laughs> we gotta move. Come on. I just want to use giant drill. Show you what you need. Where are we supposed to be going? We can't run. Oh, yeah, this is the way out. Are we supposed to just be leaving? I don't know what we're supposed to be doing. We're walking really slow. Okay, there's a tunnel bore machine at the, a depot in East Los Santos. Uh, getaway vehicle is required for this setup. All right, let's go get the stuff.